So we're in Aylesford and we've decided we're gonna do a seven mile walk through the Kent countryside because the weather is absolutely glorious. There are some mysterious points of interest on this walk as well, which we'll show you as we hopefully get to them and don't get lost as well. <laughs> You're gonna go say something and you keep carrying on like that. <laughs> and it's a circle route apparently. It so is. So we will end up back here. Although what I haven't told Josh yet is it involves walking up a bloody great hill. Hey. Well, look, we're going to San Francisco in a few months, so we need the practice. We need to practice. We need to get to the gym, really. So. Luckily, the weather is gorgeous today, but there is a nice cooling breeze. Yeah. We're prepared. We've got the old backpack with water. We've got snacks. We've got squash, which is actually unusual for us. We've got shortbread, too. And when we get to the top of the hill, there's going to be some fantastic views. So let's shut up and get on with it. Mm. Made our way off the busy road into Cobtree Manor first Park. hill of the day. Oh. The only problem about this walk is the first part is a really long, busy main road. Yeah, I hate walking down roads and go, that is assuming we're going the right way. We're not 100% certain, but we think we are. However, how pretty is this? It's cute. It's amazing, isn't it? I was it? just saying, maybe next time when we've got more time, we'll come and explore this part. But right now, we're Yeah, because this used to be Maidstone Zoo like yeah. years and years back. So not on the list today though, just walking through it. Oh, I'm knackered already. Right, we found our way off the Cobtree Manor estate now. We found yeah. this, well, well, no, we are off the estate, but we found this public footpath. We don't know if it's the right one. We're just keeping our fingers crossed because it seems from the map like we're going in the right direction. How pretty these bluebells are, look. Oh, I love this time of the year so much. Sun shining, the bluebells are out. We're getting lost in the woods. So we've just seen a nice gentleman and we asked him which way he thinks we need to go to Kits Coty. So it seems we're going the right way. Gives us a little bit more faith. Also, there's a golf course right here and all we can hear is them swinging their clubs and hitting the ball. So fingers crossed we get out of this bit before we get up. Can you imagine we're walking along? And it Oh, yeah, hit and hit by a ball. that is exactly our luck. That's why I think we should walk quickly through this bit. Trip hazard. <laughs> <laughs> this must have been from the storm. We had a storm a couple of weeks months ago, ago now, ago. February. Yeah, uh, over you go. Over go. Show us how it's done. Oh. Beautiful. Onwards. I'm a little bit worried because my shoe has split. Going down all of these little hills. What if it all of a sudden snaps and uh, I'm shoeless? Then this country walk becomes a pilgrimage and you go barefooted. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I hope not. I've just had a fault. What if that man was one of those crazy people off the wrong turn and we asked him what way to go and he sent us directly to the crazy house where they're all gonna slice us up and eat us for dinner. Why do walks in the countryside with you always turn into a bloody horror movie? We're in the middle of the woods. That's how the film started. Yeah, but that's not the point to bring it up. There's bluebells anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Seems to be a bit more of an explore rather than a blooming casual walk. <laughs> what is this? This is a fallen tree. <laughs> so yeah, again, storm damage. It's fine. Oh, it's easy. It's easy to get through. It's all good. It's all good. Leg over. One. Leg over two. Just when you realise you're getting older. He's 36. He's getting very old. I heard that. Old, old, old. I feel like we're gonna get lost quite a lot today. I feel like we're already lost. <laughs> We've come out onto this main road. It says no one of no unauthorized vehicles. Which we're not, but I don't really know. Do you reckon? I'm assuming we've got to go that way. I was gonna say that says public footpath, which was the way you've just come out of here. Let's do it. <laughs> little trickling little, water. Little babbling brook. Lovely. Oh, I need a drink. No, I'm alright, I've got plenty in the bag. So that sign actually took us straight into the golf course and we had balls flying at us, so I was like, I'm not really comfortable with this. This is very muddy. So we're following it round the back end. We'll just spin the camera around and show you how muddy it actually is. Um, it's kind of like clay light mud, isn't it? Oh, you're going that way, are you? <laughs> so this is actually where we're heading, somewhere up in these hills here. So I feel like we are going the right way because I feel like it's going to take us up here and then loop round. They're the people that nearly hit us with a golf ball. <laughs> so we've made it to the road alongside Bluebell, Bluebell Hill, which is up there. It's getting rather warm. He's not listening to me, but he's got cookies in his bag. I'm going to ask if I can have a cookie. Can I have a cookie? cookie? Go on then. Thanks, sweet pea. I'm getting really strong smells of the blossom and all things like that. Smelling very summery and It's very pollution. peaceful and tranquil on this part of the path. At least we know we're near civilization. <laughs> That's a fair point. 
Everyone used to do this as kids, right? Make a wish. Ugh. 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 I hope none of you have got hay fever. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have, would you? Oh yes, we are going the right way. Half a mile to go, Josh. Half a mile to go. That's it. That's it. Well, to the middle point, yeah. Heading away from that busy road now as well, which is nice. Back out into the wilderness. Oh, and a little bit of shade. Oh, you're filming. I thought you were just talking to me. There's me going, yeah, good. No, I don't talk to you off camera. No, he does. really does. <laughs> um, I don't like walking down long main roads. I think I've just said this in oh, a couple of minutes ago. Yeah. Video. I mean, the good thing with that one is we weren't right on it, no. but close enough for it to be noisy. But it's soon drifting away now. We're walking down here. Oh, that breeze is so nice. Lovely. Also, it's a bridal way, so there is literally horse poo everywhere. <laughs> It's been quite a gradual incline so far, but this last stretch looks steep. I was like, really? <laughs> the good news is it can only be like a quarter of a mile now. The bad news is it's a quarter of a mile uphill. Let's drink. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Huffing and puffing. Oh. Like we've both smoked 60 fags. <laughs> I can't stop, because if I stop, I won't get going again. Going. You're just going to have to catch up. Whew. Come on, we've got this. That's how you know when I <laughs> can't talk. That's how you know when it's really steep because you can't see the bottom of where you started. All right, we're there. I mean, we're still going up, but it's leveled off. We're, we're all good, just. Oh, he's, he's obsessed with trying to work out on his Apple Watch how many calories he's burned. I've got a Fitbit and it tells me. Woo! We've made it. Oh, wow. Can I just say? I remember what coming to look for now. Yeah. I said I don't know what we're doing and we, we didn't Google it. We got half the way up here and he was like, I can't remember what we're doing. Oh. This is what we've come for. Look at it. It's fabulous. It. So this is Kit's Cody house. I've wanted to come here ever since I was small. I've lived in this area like a huge chunk of my life and never made it here. But it is part of a 6,000 year old burial chamber, which would have run, well, still runs under the ground. It'd be interesting to see what it's like under there. Like, obviously there's no way to get to it now. Well, no, obviously it's all just in the ground. It's all just bones and things now. You know, I'm sure they've exhumed bones But it bones does always well. make you think that what is always underneath you. Well, what fascinates me is the road that we walked up and that you can still probably hear a little bit just behind us is called Bluebell Hill. And it's legendary for being one of the most haunted roads. And I wonder if it's something to do with this burial ground here. This probably is cursed because that road's probably disrupted yeah. the burials. Comment down below if you know. Yeah, let us know. And also, if you're local, let us know. Have you ever seen a ghost on Bluebell Hill? Let us know the story. I'm intrigued. Before we leave though, look at these views. Oh my God. We've come from down there somewhere. It's absolutely stunning. You can see some of the fields are yellow. They've got rapeseed in them. Then you've got the chalk hills up here. Josh is Instagramming. This is an Instagrammer in the wild, ladies and gentlemen. Way everybody pose! We nailed it. And if you're not on our Instagram, it's JJExtra26. Give us a follow! Should we have a little drink and a snack and admire this view before we make our way down again? Yeah, because well, now we'll we've, go back. Well, we've got the decision now. Do we go back the way we came or do we go the other way? Well, it's down, isn't it? Well, it either, goes either way's down. It doesn't not? Yeah, so we I might as well just carry on. Yeah, I mean, this is an adventure after all. It's exactly. not an adventure if you go the way you came, is it? But that hill. So we are bravely taking the opposite way back. Fly just went up his nose. <laughs> Why do they do that? Oh, this fly up your nostril. What is it, honey, I shrunk the kids? Yes. No, that was I'm talking about from Sabrina. What? You watch Sabrina the Teenage Witch when they're in the cereal box and they shrink the people into like the little plane and they go up Aunt Zelda or Helda's, Helga's nose and then they control people's body forms with these little things. Anyway, we're going this way back. Someone must have watched it. We may get lost because I've just found a guide to this circular walk online while we're halfway through it. Yes. You know, great planning. We're doing it back the 
We're doing Long it backwards, round. so I've got to try and decipher the thing. I'm getting attacked here. What's going on? Get off! Get off! Yeah, so I've got to try and decipher the uh, instructions backwards. <sighs> the steps up to <laughs> oh oh. oh. I thought we were meant to be going downhill, not up. We've got to go up a little bit before everything's down. It's all good. As, as the hat said, what could go wrong? Why? Oh. Can't go that way. Do we? Yeah, look, there's a step. Oh. I think. Don't do that to me. I think. It says North Downs that way. North Downs way yeah. that way. So the instructions the other way say when you get to the top of the bridle way, which is this, All right. turn right and go for two kilometres until you see the Kits Coty sign. Okay. So yeah. So it's down. So I've just walked all the way up that. To go down? To go down. Okay. It's just all downhill from here. <laughs> for all of us. We were both halfway up that hill we just walked. We're well, a bad hill. We just all both said at the same time. It's getting warm around here. We both looked at the driver report, that's creepy. I'm so glad to be walking down. Can I just say, I'm so glad we've done it this way round, because that is steep. I suppose better show you this. Also, I'm sweating. Look, gross. Mm. Ah, ew, salty. Oh my God. <laughs> really? Right, so this is me looking up straight. And then now we've got to go all the way down that. <sighs> Well, it kind of gives you a look. So this is kind of, this is a slope, but not a slope. This is even worse, because it goes down. I feel like I'm going to end up on my butt. Oh. Let's get up. Do it! <laughs> you don't lose signal. Uh, oh, my tootsies hurt. Owie. You look like you're doing one of those funny walk things. Like, mm, 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 There's mm. no grip, so I'm going to end up on my butt if I don't. Also, look at that. You can go climb it if you want. I'm going to stick to this. <laughs> Don't speed up. Oh, I did slip in. Hold on to the rail. Ew, germs. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> the things we do for these shots. So it turns out that hill we've just come down is the wrong one and there's no other way except going back up the hill. Not happy. He's not always right. That's because we turned left. <laughs> not time for jokes. I'm sorry. Ow. Just remember Good. San Francisco. Just imagine how much you'll thank me in five months oh. when you're scrambling up those San Francisco hills like a marathon runner. Oh, if we make if we make it to the top of this one. Oh. I just said what's for dinner, something nice. Oh. We'll see. Gotta get back to the car yet. Yeah. Oh. My god. We're so unfit. <laughs> oh. I just sat down. Oh. Could you imagine? I never want to see that hill again. If this bit of wood snaps now and I roll all the way back down, I've got to come back up again. I'll be here. I think I'll just stay down there. I'll be waiting here. Oh. Onwards! Okay, this just got even worse. So, that's the hill we've just been down and had to come back up of. Where we actually need to go is there. So you're telling me we walk all the way down that hill, walk all the way back up the hill, from the stairs of there? Yeah. I mean, if, it, if it's any consolation, we didn't really walk back up the hill, we kind of scrambled. I pulled myself up. Well, and um, yeah, this is the steps that we were looking for. We should have known when the other one didn't have steps. And there was no signs pointing down that hill. No, there's signs there. Whoopsie! What's the Disney film? The Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, where they're going through the dark forest thing. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Send us a postcard. Good news is, this is nowhere near as steep as that other one that we just had to And it's a lot cooler. It is actually. Oh, if a little creepy. The pits are a little bit moist. Uh. They smell really good though because the deodorant I'm using is... <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Oh. oh wow, it's opened up a little bit. This massive house here is where we were when we went the wrong way. Look at this view though. 
<sighs> Stunning. And it's going down. And it's a really nice breeze. I've also said I really want a uh, milkshake, a cold milkshake. Maybe that can be re your reward if we make it to the end. So it seems we've come out of the wilderness. I mean, it was dead quiet until two cars put the camera there on. There was a hut going along the road. Casual. Um, so this quiet road, even though, as I said, that two cars went past, sod's law. Um, we're now heading into... What's Eccles. It? Eccles village. And the village we want is the one next. Yeah, Josh thought Eccles was the ending point. I was like, so this is the end? He was like, no. No. But if there's a shop, we can nip in the shop, maybe get a nice, really cold drink. And at least we're going the right way. Yeah, which is very good. But yeah. My tootsies are starting to hurt. Oh, Blair. Well, it's not that. It's where we, most of the ground has been like uneven. uneven yeah. Uh, my big toes have been well, rubbing. it would have been that uphill as well. Yeah. So the lovely thought of getting a nice cold drink in one of the shops in this village, town, whatever you want to call it. No, it's way too tiny. There's not even a shop. Not well, that we saw, not that we passed. Anyway. I was going to say, there probably is, but we'd have had to detour and we've taken enough detours today. Yeah, we're now currently down Another footpath, public footpath, we're in the middle again. Middle of nowhere. It smells of poop. It smells of poop. We've got horses on the left. We have horses to the left of me. Orchards to the right. Here I nothing. am on the public footpath with you. I'm sorry, guys. You're welcome. Guys. I'm very sorry. Keep following the signs. Keep going. This is a good sign. These are vineyards. Like, how cool is that? We're not even in the Mediterranean. We're in Kent and we're walking through bloody vineyards. Now, do we walk through the middle? That way, don't know, but um, or that way. Oh, wait, like I just said, follow the signs. So, oh, it doesn't help, does it? Public, public footpath, public footpath. I mean, we've just come from that way, so we're not going to go back the way we come, are we? Well, no, also, a nice white wine spritzer would go down right now if the, per the owner of the vineyard is here listening. No, I no. feel like it's going to be that way then. Do you think? That's the only way to go. We're not going to go back the way we came. Well, no, I don't know if you can go that way or not. The, the, no arrow that way. You've literally just said follow the sun. This is why I oh, navigate. Yeah. <laughs> I do this to wind him up. We've made it. There she is. There's the car. Somehow we've made it. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are screaming. They're barking. They're going. Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> <laughs> but we made it to the car. Happy days. Oh, we done it. Do you know, I've really missed adventures like this. It was really good fun, but if you're gonna do it, maybe don't do it on a hot day. Take and maybe know where you're going first as well. Yeah. Although it did add to the adventure. It adds to the adventure. Um, There's gonna be lots more adventures on foot this year as well, because we are getting fit and slim, ready for three weeks in California later in the year. And the slope you saw, that's nothing compared to what we're That's going to be nothing. doing in California. So if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know you've enjoyed it. Check out Patreon for exclusive content as well. And why not watch the video that's on screen now when we went to the, probably England's most famous Neolithic site, Stonehenge. Ooh.